welcome to this setup guide on how to configure a service principle for Power BI and Power BI Sentinel. First, we're going to open our Azure portal, and from here, we want to create a new application for our service principle. We can do this under App Registrations. Once here, we want to create a new registration. And in this dialog box, we want to give our application a name. So I'm going to call this one Sentinel SP. Next, under supported account types, we want to select accounts in this organizational directory only. And we want to set our redirect URI as web. And then click register. Now we have successfully created our application. We want to make a note of the application ID and copy this to the clipboard for later in the setup process. Next, we need to configure a client secret for this application. So we're going to head over to Certificates and Secrets on the left-hand side. And once here, we want to click New Client Secret. And we want to give this secret a name. So I'm going to enter PBI Sentinel Security. And then now we want to set an expiry length for this secret. Default is 180 days or six months. However, for this one, I'm going to select 24 months and then click Add. And now we have our secret. We want to make a copy of the value and the secret ID, again, for later in the setup process. Next, we want to configure the API permissions for our application. So we want to head over to API permissions on the left-hand side. And from here, you will see that we already have the default Microsoft Graph permissions enabled. However, we want to go ahead and add new permissions. From here, we need to go to APIs My Organization Uses, and we want to search for the Power BI service. Here we want to select Delegated Permissions, and now we're going to work through the list of required permissions for Power BI Sentinel. And we're going to start with App and app.readall. Next, Capacity and Capacity.readall. Dashboard and Dashboard.readall. Next is Dataflow, Dataflow.readall. And next, Dataset. And we want data set read all and read write all. Next up is gateway and gateway.read all. Then we have report, and here we want report.read all and read write all. Next is storage account, and we want storage account read all and read write all tenant.readall.readwriteall and finally workspace readall and readwriteall and then we want to click add and then we have our full list of delegated permissions required by Power BI Sentinel. For more information on the permissions listed here and why they are required by Power BI Sentinel please email us at help at powerbisentinel.com and one of the team will be in touch to discuss these with you. Now we've configured our application and the required permissions for our application, we want to go ahead and create a security group to assign the application to. So I'm going to head over to Groups, and from here we're going to create a new group. Group type is Security. I'm going to enter the name PBI Sentinel Security. And we want to add our application as a member to this group. So I'm going to search for the name of our application, which is Sentinel SP. And we can select it here and click select down at the bottom. And now our application is part of the security group. Next, we want to head over to Power BI and we want to log in as a Power BI admin, so we can configure the required settings under the admin portal. So I'm going to navigate to the admin portal here. 
and now we want to edit the settings under developer settings. So I'm going to search for that here in the top bar and now we can see developer settings and I want to select the section service principles can use fabric APIs. We want to enable this setting and now we want to edit, enter our specific security group that we just configured. So I can search for PBI Sentinel security and here is our security group and we can click apply. Next, we want to do the same for the admin API permissions. So I'm going to search for admin API. And here we want to select service principles can access read-only admin APIs. And again, I'm going to enable this and add in our security group. And we can click apply. And now we have configured the required Power BI settings. Next, we want to head over to the Power BI Sentinel portal. And from here, we want to go to the tenant setup page, navigate to the service principle tab, and select use service principle. Here, we want to enter in the information we copied earlier. So we want to enter the service principle client ID. So I can select edit and paste in the client ID. And next we want to copy the service principle secret value and paste that here. Now we can click save and we have enabled the connection to our service principle. From here, you're then free to configure any further settings for your service principle configuration. For more information on any of these settings, visit our website or email us at help at powerbisentinel.com and one of the team will be in touch.